Hello everyone and welcome back to Badger Clan, who for once is at the center of at all of all the drama. They have a lot of things I need to go through right now. I mean, Green River got a prophecy last week, and um, you guys, I've written it now, so we're gonna take a look into that in two seconds. And you guys remember how Rushtooth had a um, kitty pet lover? Well, she's here now, and she was technically here already in Star Clan's video. If you guys watched that, you would know. Uh, but here is Misty. I did lower your age, or her age, uh, you guys might notice that. Uh, she is formerly a kitty pet, and if you guys did watch the Star Clan video, you will know that on Moon 112, she does actually, they find her dead, apparently. But I'm just going to say that they realized at that moon that she was in Badger um, clan from now on. So we are actually gonna give her her name. And I was thinking something... Because she infiltrated Star clan. So I'm thinking... Um, something like Misty Foot. <laughs> but that would, you know, be a little bit... Awkward if you guys have read the books. So... Instead of that... Maybe just Misty Pelt is good, because her pelt is Misty. <laughs> oh yeah, someone actually did suggest a bunch of names um, for, for Badger Clan specifically, to have more of like sneaky and... Uh, mean looking <laughs> names. So actually, we can take one of those and name her Misty Cloak. Uh, that is not how you spell that. There you go. <laughs> Misty Cloak. So basically, she. Um, well, she inf infiltrated Stagland, really, and then she actually killed one of their warriors. So if you guys are interested in seeing kind of her introduction, then be sure to, to watch the Star Clan video. Uh, apparently she has a love for Slatestone, that, that's that's not real. <laughs> also, yeah, Slatestone isn't even here. But we will actually choose her mate, and it is Rushtooth. So there we go. We know that for certain, because he had a kitty pet mate, and that is her. Um, we will actually see... How, how his relationship is with her now. How romantic they are with each other. Uh, if I can find... Uh, apparently no romance. There she is. <laughs> uh, so let's switch focus. Yeah, okay. So they both have the basic romance, but they, they are good with each other, so... So there we go! And with that being said, let's get on to Green River. And I do have a little bit of a spoiler for you guys. Uh, I did change. I have a lot of big plans all of a sudden. And one of those plans, plans involve um, Lightstar. So I must say there is a little bit of a secret here. But I will give you guys a pretty big hint as to what it is. Because I feel like... I can't just lie to you guys. <laughs> so basically, uh, Green River was met by Thriftback, who gave him the prophecy. Uh, Thriftback is his father, I believe, yes, his adoptive father. Uh, and Badger later supports this, but whenever the prophecy is done, he does mention that Lightstar is not technically a star just like he was. And I know I did say that she did, uh, you know, get get some get some lives, extra lives maybe, but I did actually change this and that is for a very good reason. <laughs> so you guys don't panic. Don't panic. I won't do this with every well, um I might do it with every badger clan cat. Uh well badger clan leader in the future, but uh, you guys will see how it goes. <laughs> Okay, so are you guys ready for the prophecy? 
Here we go. So Green River is in basically gets a prophecy from his adoptive dad, Thriftback, that reads When light meets its final hour, one shall rise, one shall cower. The river must fall to make way for the runner. Heed this warning of a higher power, or everything will be his to devour. Yep. <laughs> So that took me like an hour to come up with, but it is um, it is going to come true, whatever happens, because I have made every possible happening be a uh, an outcome for the prophecy. So there is one good prophecy uh, outcome and one bad prophecy outcome. So we'll have to see which one we get. Uh, but for now, let us just continue while poor little Green River here is having white cough and... A prophecy that is very very big much bigger than himself <laughs> okay so branch tail let's first get you out gathering herbs and let's take ghost whale with you they gathered some lung work together that's good uh, and here we have runner hmm 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 runner hmm just a random little cat who joined hmm <laughs> So, Rushtooth and Runner. Ooh, that, that is quite the patrol here. Okay. Um, they're gonna all go to the border. And they do see two kits from Paper Clan. And I would proceed, but I think Light uh, Lightstar is very, very angry. Ah, uh, would she kill them? Hmm. She probably would, wouldn't she? But I don't know if we have any kittens. We're gonna not mess with the viper clan right now um light star more has her eyes set on badger or stag clan currently as they are a little bit easier prey so ice flick and rainfall as well as brown bark are gonna go hunting and they miss the rat <laughs> misty cloak you're gonna go with splinter stripe i suppose they spot a rabbit up ahead who is acting strange. Well, I don't think Misty Cloak would care much. And they bring back a large amount of prey to the to the clan, so that's great. There we go. So that was the first moon. Now let us proceed. Uh, Griver Green River no longer has White Cough. That's great. Uh, he also notices a, fi a fierce spike limping from across the other side of their camp. Uh, gives uh, gives they <laughs> them some ex exercises to help strengthen their weak leg and reduce the pain. Well, that's nice. Uh, Osprey Wind feels relieved at the lack of pain in their head. Their headache seems to have finally gone away. Well, that's lovely. Here we have Spark Cry, who apparently has frostbite. I, I definitely knew that. <laughs> There's so many cats across the clan that clans uh, <laughs> that uh it's it's kind of hard to sometimes remember remember them all also i guess we can uh i guess we can kind of give runner a um a name huh well we do have some fierce names but i don't know if if, if runner is is kind of the one <laughs> we should give a fierce name uh, runner Freckle? Hmm. Maybe he'll just be Runner for now. Runner Bird. Oh gosh. <laughs> okay, Splinter Stripe, Misty Cloak, uh, I guess Rush Tooth and Fear Spike are gonna go on this moon's border patrol. Uh, they do notice Stag Clan, and we will, of course, antagonize Stag Clan because that is who Badger Clan are. Osprey Wind, Ghost Whale. And Rainfall are gonna go hunting. They bring back a couple prey. Runner, Silverclaw, Brownbark are also gonna go hunting. A huge amount of prey, that's lovely. And Ice Flick, Lightstar, and our, yeah, those two apparently <laughs> are going on a border patrol. And they find a large dog, and of course, Lightstar always proceeds. And they actually. Uh, wait, the patrol shadows the dog, sending a message back to warn a ca the camp. Uh, it's an exhausting and stressful day, 
But by the time night falls, they've confirmed that the dog is leaving the local area. And the patrol has assured Badger Clan's safety. That's lovely. Now let's go gather a little bit of cat mint and other herbs. Uh, oh, you guys. Rushtooth got their paw stuck in a two-leg trap. And while they eventually escape, their leg is heavily injured. Sparkcry has recovered from their frostbite. And Brownbark's tail was badly injured by a dog. You guys, I wonder if... Does someone in the clan not like Rushtooth? Let's see. I mean, Lightstar definitely likes him. He obviously likes himself, so I don't think he put the trap on himself. Branchtail loves him. Uh, wait. Oh, right. That's his son. Of course he loves him. Uh, Green River... Well, uh, that is a bit harsh, actually, when, when we know who Rushtooth is. <laughs> Green River doesn't really like the guy, but it's he's fine. Ghost Whale has conflicting feelings. Probably because of his... Um, his mate being his father. Uh, Ice Flick does like Rush Tooth, but she actually doesn't like Green River or... And, and resents Brown Bark, it seems. So... Interesting. Fear Spike, he doesn't care much. <laughs> Neither does Osprey Wind. Huh. Now Silver Claw could potentially have put a trap like that. He definitely does not like Rush Tooth <laughs> whatsoever. That is interesting. He doesn't like Splinter Stripe either, but he, he definitely does not like Rush Tooth. Uh, Misty Cloak obviously likes him. Yeah, well, okay, well, if anyone set the trap, I guess we know who the culprit is. Interesting. Um, Silver Claw, I'm just gonna go in here. Possibly set up a. Two leg trap for rush to to get caught in. There we go. Uh, yeah, that that's probably good. <laughs> oh well, that is quite some drama. Even Silverclaw is kind of adding in on this whole uh, aggressive nature. I mean, he has kind of changed a lot from the. Uh, oh, he was a loner before. From the childish, trusted loner that he was before, he's he's changed a lot. Uh, we are gonna take Lightstar, I think, on a patrol with Ghost Whale, Runner, and Misty Cloak. Uh, they see find an opening, and it is an abandoned badger set. Nice. Fear Spike, you are going with Silver Claw and Spark Cry to go hunting. Uh, Splinter Stripe, Rainfall, and Ice Flick are also gonna go hunting. And so is Osprey Wind all by himself. <laughs> um, he's a runner and wise, he's probably not gonna attack giant, you know, metal wind things that two legs have built. <laughs> I don't think, uh, I don't think that would be on top of his list. Okay, so Silverclaw leapt from a rock, but didn't land quite right. Hmm. Uh, Fear Spike is feeling better, and rumors reach your clan that the exiled Whisper Roar has died recently. Oh gosh, okay. Um, hold on, I just wanna... Who are you? I don't remember. Oh, Whisper Roar, right, of course, of course. Uh, she has... She has died, actually, but she died a while ago. Uh, she's in... She is in uh, Viper Clan right now, actually. So... That's who she is. Um, let us go on more patrols. So, let's start. You're gonna take three cats. Rainfall, Osprey, Wind, and Runner. Uh, you guys are obviously gonna go on a border. Okay, we hear a cat begging for their household to come back. Uh, let's antagonize this time. 
The kitty pet tries to make it make a run for it when suddenly they collapse. When Lightstar comes closer, they smell the sickness coming off the kitty pet's pelt. They decide to resume the border patrol. It's not their problem anymore. Oh, Lightstar, that is mean. Okay, wow. That is that is really mean. So Lightstar found that that cat was not good enough for their camp. Um Clearly, they weren't going to provide with anything useful, and thus have been left for who knows what fate. Ah, speaking of fate, uh, while searching for some specific herbs, it seems Branchail, uh, Branchtail is startled by weird sounds and whispers on the wind. Let us see, huh? So, uh, Timber apparently had some kittens uh, who joined the clan, and there are three of them. So that's lovely. Uh, all of them. Oh, they're so cute. Let's uh, let's see at first if we can see Timber. Oh, Timber is pretty, pretty, pretty. <laughs> Compassionate and a deep star clan bond. Ooh, okay. Let's see what her kittens are. So we have Yarrow Kit, who is a sweet little kitten. Unruly. Oh gosh, a little female. Uh, and a skittish little male. Okay, sharp kit definitely sounds good. Uh, gull kit. Hmm. I think we, we have to figure something else out here. Um, well, sharp kit is, is very a very cool name. Yarrow kit. Yarrow kit also kind of fits, but I think we'll do that for this one. What I remember, Yarrow is the one that makes cats grow up, which is very, very gross. Uh, so that is perfect for a <laughs> for a badger clan name. Um. Hmm. Actually, Frost Kit is uh, probably pretty good. Do we have a Frost? We don't really have a Frost. Yeah. Okay, let's uh, let's do Frost. Uh, now is it. So let us time skip a another moon. So Fear Spike has gotten White Cough and Rainfall has unfortunately gotten Yellow Cough. That is not great. Here's little Frost Kit. Uh, he is sweet and curious about Star Clan. Oh, I like him already. And Yarrow Kit doesn't want to grow up yet. She is unruly and also curious about Star Clan. And so is Scar Sharp Kit, who's skittish. Okay, you guys, this is very cool for my my prophecy stuff <laughs> that I have going on. Okay, but I will uh, I will have to be right back for two seconds. There we go. I just realized that Badger Clan is becoming quite large in size, so maybe they can even rival Viper Clan soon? Especially with how quick they're growing? That's pretty interesting. Anywho, um, the patrols do still need to go out, so we will add Osprey Wind, Light Star, Ghost Whale, and Mystic Cloak to the Border Patrol this time. Once again, we will antagonize this. Um, they tell the kitty pet that they aren't welcome here, but after they hear that the kitty pet is ill, they agree to carry them to a nearby two-leg den to find help. Huh, well that's interesting. I guess someone on the patrol decided that the kitty pet needed help. Um, and, uh, and maybe they even went back to help the kitty pet? That could be interesting. I wonder if they did that. Anywho, let us skip a another moon and see what happens. So Silverclaw has recovered from his sprain. Rushtooth's leg has healed. Interesting. Broken back's uh, mangle tail seems to also have fully healed, but he has gotten a running nose. Fear Spike no longer has white cough. Uh, runner has gotten a running nose. Interesting. 
and Misty Clock is feeling extremely sore from the long distances they've run lately. Unfortunately, some of her mallow also went bad. Misty Clock, so she's sore. Planning to visit the medicine cats then. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, let's have Rush Tooth and Misty Cloak actually go out on a patrol with, uh, well, without Lightstar. With Silver Claw and Ice Flick. Okay, they see a wounded cat near the Thunderpath. Let us proceed. Uh, they see signs of life and gingerly uh, pick up the cat and take them back to the camp to be treated by the medicine cat. The cat is grateful for their help and decides to join the clan. Huh. And what was their name? Odd something? Odd Fade? Non-binary, I see. Odd J, maybe? Odd Fish? <laughs> oh gosh. Uh, ooh, we could name him Odd Jaw. Or them, sorry. <laughs> We could name them Oddjaw? Hold on. Oh, he has head damage. They have head damage. Good gosh. <laughs> Odd tumble? Oh no! Oh, that is almost too cruel to skip. Mm. I, I feel a little bit bad for all these poor cats who are getting <laughs> horrible names by Lightstar, but oh well. Osprey Wind, Brown Bark, Fierce Spike, you three can go on a border patrol, I guess. Uh, they spot a badger making a den on StarClan territory. Let's antagonize, saying that we haven't seen anything on your territory, StarClan. Uh, that's pretty funny. For, you know, badger clan at least. Lightstar, Sparkcry, those two, as well as Splinterstripe, are gonna go on another patrol. Ooh, and StarClan sent her straight into their territory. Stanklan has been hostile recently. This can't be good. Yeah, well, well, of course they have been. You guys are prodding them every single chance you guys get. Okay, so... How dare they tre trespass? Lightstar bounds after the scent, hoping to find the source of it, eventually discovering a limping Stanklan warrior who hast hastily explains that a dog chased them into Badger Clan territory. Lightstar is still angry. But they rein in their hostility and tensely return to the cat to Star Clan. You know what? I am going to say they didn't do this. I will say that whoever was limping into Star Clan territory or Badger Clan territory, we are going to. Well, Lightstar is going to unfortunately end their life. So whenever we get to Star Clan next, which will be next episode of clan gen we will do a randomizer well i'll do it behind the screen uh, behind the scenes but i will tell you guys that one cat did not make it because of this exact event hmm. so that was uh, a little bit of a, of, a, of a cliffhanger here we do have one last moon to do so, fueled by a simmering resentment, Stan Clan in initiates a war with Badger Clan, determined to reclaim their disputed territory and probably also have vengeance for their lost clanmate. And uh, it seems like the warriors are feeling better. Frostkit unfortunately has a running nose, but that's about it. So, unfortunately for Star Clan, Badger Clan, you guys, is ready for war. And with that being said, let us uh, leave Badger Clan for now, and I'll see you guys in Star Clan next time. Bye bye.